a staggering statistic for you. The world produces 92 million tons of textile waste every year. But the good news is, is that increasing the number of times clothes are worn is the most direct way to reduce waste in the textile system. That's right, Jess. Wearing our clothing longer isn't just good for our wallets, it is good for the planet too. So here were some tips to help us extend the life of our wardrobe is the star of the YouTube channel Clean My Space, Melissa Maker. Welcome. <laughs> Okay, so you say that how we wash our clothes is a major factor in how long we can keep wearing them. So um, can you start by giving us some Laundry 101? Yeah. Because I have a feeling a lot of us have not been doing it right, right? Yeah. Sure, okay. sure. Okay, first things first, launder in cold water. For okay. real? I do that, I do that, I do that. Oh, I do that. Yes, detergents are designed to work in cold water these days, Great. and hot water is not only not as good for the environment, but it is not good for your clothes. It ages mm. your clothes faster. It's like skin. Sorry, it's quick, like skin. Quick question. Exactly. So like skin. Like even if the detergent, even if it doesn't say cold water, they're all you can made still for cold it? water these days. I had no yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Next up, we've got a mixed basket of clothes here. Jess is my hand model, and we've got towels, <laughs> we've got denim, and then we have tees in there as well. And here's the thing: if you're mixing fabric weights, so your towels, your denim, those are heavier against your lighter garments, like what we're wearing just like yeah, the lighter yeah, yeah. stuff you're gonna get pilling that ages clothing faster it doesn't look as hot but can I wash towels with my good t-shirts in a laundry bag well you could but I would really just not okay, I would just it. yeah towels do can do got their it. own thing okay. okay and then of course we see our dog over here Lainey I was gonna have you bring in the pups but you know we figured this was easier okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> for everyone really uh, pet, <laughs> exactly. pet fur kind of makes your clothes look older and dingier too yes. So recently I've become a fan of using uh, dryer sheets that are specifically designed to help repel pet hair. So that's oh, a really good tip. I didn't know that existed. Yeah, it does exist. It really does and it really works well. That's fantastic. Let's talk stains because yeah. I feel like I make a lot of them on myself. And also that when people have stained clothes, they tend to just either give them away or throw yeah. them out. So how can we combat this? Yeah, okay, so first things first, uh, once you understand the kind of stain you're dealing with and you have the right products, any problem is solvable. So the first thing you wanna do, and I've got them here, we're gonna scrape off the product. We're gonna make any stain we have flat and dry. This is, I'm assuming, cheese? This here is cheese. This okay. is called oh a protein God. stain. I know it's a little hard, we made it earlier. Um, Jess, you're gonna have to work at it, but I have lots of faith. <laughs> now, <laughs> she's oh shredding it. The <laughs> reason this is important is because we're removing a lot of the stained material. And we could freeze that maybe, you make could, it easier to You cook, could, right? certainly. Now, once the protein stain is off, yeah. we're then gonna blot it. Let's, okay, let's say pretend. you aced it. Let's yeah, say you nailed that. It. Then you're gonna use the paper <laughs> towel there. And following that, we've got an enzyme-based stain remover in the spray bottle there, yeah. Jess. I want you to use that. And just give, it a, give your cheese stain a little spritz. Now, this works like saliva. It's going to digest a protein stain. Oh, cool. Right? Oh, so cool, right? So everyone needs this in their life. And I feel, this is like a laundry MVP, and I feel like enough people don't know about this. You're gonna let it sit for 15 yeah, minutes. Let you're gonna, sit. Yeah, you're gonna launder in cold water and that will take care of a protein stain. Oil, grease, fat. I love like this idea. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get some Enzyme stain remover, okay? Next up, Lainey, you're gonna help me with this one. This is a berry stain, so a color stain. We're talking wine. I know, Lainey's like, Melissa, do not make me clean. Um, <laughs> yeah. But you're gonna scrape it off. Okay, so like and wine, pomegranate, that's berries. That's right. And for this type of stain, we're gonna color correct. So we're gonna get as much of the material off as we can. And to, yeah, just fling it on the floor. Someone else can deal with that later. Yeah. Love it. And color correcting is done with oxygen bleach. So here we have a little container of oxygen bleach. We've got boiling water, which is key. Whoa. Dump it in. I'm oxygen gonna stir. Bleach. Okay. And we've got the bubbles. That is the product working. If you don't have the bubbles in the foam, then your product's not gonna do its job. And you're gonna let this sit overnight. Oh my God. You're gonna launder it the next day and that helps to reverse the color stain. So that's what we like for that. Oh, so okay. soak overnight. Yeah. Okay, that's now, a great one. Now, say you have a little teeny tiny stain, you're at a restaurant, you ate Just a burger. Pasta. And you had a, a pasta, whatever. Okay. You had a little oopsie, happens to me all the time. You can go to the bathroom, get a little bit of hand soap, or if you're at a friend's house, a little bit of dish soap or a little bit of laundry detergent and just dab it on the stain. Okay, and that so will do I do of, that now? You can do, yeah, just a little dab. 
Nothing oh, crazy, yeah. exactly. And then work it in with your finger. And even that can help take care of a stain so you don't have to ditch your garments. Right, I love it. Okay, okay yeah. so you also say it's important to like read the labels, the care labels. Yes. You know, the when doing laundry. Yeah. Why is this crucial? Okay, they're like modern day hieroglyphics. They're super annoying, but they're like a recipe card for your clothing. It is. And if you buy a lot of the same stuff, a lot of athleisure, a lot of den denim, it's like taking care of the same stuff, but every now and then yeah. you get you get thrown a curveball, and you know this, because mm -hmm. you have a lot of like appliques and sequins mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So um, the fabric care labels can be difficult, and I want to do a little quiz with you to see how good you are okay. at knowing the I fabric know care labels. I didn't know we were going to have a test. Okay, we let's, do okay. Let's, we do let's do it. We are. We are going to do it. Okay. All right, Lainey is up first. Let's see, Lainey, what are we what are we looking at here? You can wash it. This you can wash it. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> and the, the, you can wash it in uh, hot water. Oh my gosh, so close! One dot means cold water. Okay, okay. Two dots mean warm. Three dots mean hot. Now this means torture test, so the fabric can withstand hot. Gotcha. But we wash in cold because we like keeping our clothes looking better for longer. Got I it. love that. I Got love it. it. I All love right, it. Jess, you're up. Um. <laughs> It's like Squid Game. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna say I don't think it's drier. Okay. I think it's is it perma press? Oh my gosh. But bleach? Oh. Okay, it's bleach. Yes. It's bleach. yes. <laughs> she got it. Okay. So if you have the triangle, it's bleach. If you got a triangle with an X, it's no bleach. And okay. if you have a triangle with diagonal lines, it's oxygen bleach. Oh my god. All right, Lainey, what does this mean? Um, <gasps> mail it? <laughs> it's like an envelope. <laughs> take it. <laughs> take it on a trip with you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This ridiculous picture means hang dry. Oh. Okay. We get it now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. All okay. right. Okay, Jess, take us home. Last See if one. you can figure this one out. Oh, that was the last oh, that one. Was There's the last no more. One. Oh, okay. okay. No okay. worries. Okay, All one right. more. We brought in some of my favorite things that um, I need to preserve. Yes. This is my favorite pair of sneakers. Okay. You're gonna show me how to get them looking fresh because yeah. I've beat these up. Like these have been to several different countries, but yeah. I love them. Super okay. cute. Okay. Okay. Where so do we we're gonna start? take care of shoes. The first thing, fresh laces make for fresh shoes. So I've got a delicates bag here. You can just unlace your shoes, throw the laces in the delicates bag, run them through the laundry next time. It's gonna freshen up the shoe. Okay. Now I have a dry brush here. This is just a shoe cleaning brush. And every few wears, you can just simply brush off dirt. I know you're like, this is not a big deal. Trust me, it makes a difference. So you're also gonna do this as your first step in shoe cleaning. So we're just gently brushing off some of the dirt. Once that's done, I have a shoe cleaning product here. Now I've read the label already. I know it's safe for the kind of shoes that you have, Lainey, but that's what's really important. You wanna make sure that you're using the right product for the job. Shoe, um, shoes come with care labels as well. Okay. Okay. And then if you want, Lainey, just work in like a circular pattern. You want me to do it no, for no, you? No, 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 I'll okay. do it, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm okay, yeah, okay. Work in a circular pattern yeah. and then. And you can see like the dirt starts oh, yeah. to lift up, it right? It looks better. It's actually coming out. Oh my God, Melissa, did I, you're amazing. Did I get you excited about yeah. cleaning? <laughs> Melissa, yes, thank I you. Did. You got excited so about my shoes. I, that's nice. why I have way to my heart. Okay, okay. No, thank you so much for all you're these amazing so tips. We always love having you. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.